hello guys uh, we are going to uh, set up this uh, router for psnl broadband and uh, this is the modem uh, that i am talking about it's adsl2 plus modem plus uh, wireless router uh, what it does is basically you can put in a, a, a telephone cable inside the modem and it also transmits the wireless signal through it so let's get started now uh, first of all uh, let me tell you if you have received a CD with this modem or router, you should not actually use it for BSNL settings because what I have noticed is uh, the setup uh, is setup gets done uh, properly. Uh, even sometimes the internet gets started properly, but uh, after use of RR2, uh, it gets disconnected frequently, or uh, sometimes it just doesn't work. Sometimes the browser freezes a lot of time. So it's all basically the issue uh, because of the improper setting uh, that the uh, CD does. The wizard is good for Tata Docomo or Reliance broadband set, for Tata Docomo or Reliance broadband settings. But for BSNL, you should probably consider these settings that I'm going to show you. So let's get started. Uh, st op let's open up your browser uh, and uh, type in 192.168. Dot one dot one. This will take you to the settings page. You will receive a dialog box like this where you have to put in the username admin and password as admin A D M I N on both the thing, uh, both the places. Uh, here you will receive this. Uh, you will receive a page like this. So you have to enter the modem. Okay. <clears throat> So here you can uh, either quick start or uh, do the interface setup here. In my case, the modem is already configured. So let me show you what exactly you want to achieve with this settings. When you go into the interface setup, uh, there are several se several PVC values, PVC 0, 1, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So all these values are basically uh, activated by default whenever you set up the modem through wizard or uh, through any uh, through this quick start guide these values are basically all activated and that is why you will receive the error and uh, for bsl note that uh, the vpi and vci value are always should be 0 and 35 and the virtual circuit should be set to pvc 0 so by default these values are assigned to pvc 2 and you want to uh, assign this value to pvc 0 and uh, deactivate all the other pvc values so when you click on this pvc summary it should look just like this uh, that pvc 0 is active the value is 0 and 35 uh, the encapsulation is a ppoe uh, and the status up everything else should be not available and uh, deactivated so when you uh, set up the uh, if you are just connected this modem uh, directly to your settings uh, directly to your computer uh, these all values will be activated so you have to go and deactivate it but before you do do that let me uh, tell you how to get how to do this from uh, the start once you log in through this panel go to your maintenance tab <coughs> go to sys restart and here uh, click on the factory default settings so when you restart this modem it will take uh, some time to get restarted and once it get restarted uh, we can start very freshly uh, with the all settings just wait for a minute Okay, so restart is completely done. Uh, if you are using some uh, security software, make sure you uh, make sure you configure it for your firewall. And uh, see, yeah, okay. So the modem is restarted now. You have to again enter the username and password. Log in to the main window. Okay, it's restarted now. As you can see, uh, all these uh, values are activated again by default and the status are 
all the statuses are down and all the encapsulations are set to bridge so first of all we need to set one of these to 035 and then deactivate all others so first let's go to the interface setup uh, here we, are go for, uh, we have to select <coughs> the PVC 0 to 0 and 35 and it should be activated save so here you will receive this error the fail to update due to duplicate uh, values of VPI and VCI so we will again go back and as I told you earlier this uh, TVC2 value uh, matches to us so let's first set this to 34 and deactivate this uh, PVC2 okay now you go to PVC0 again set this to 35 make sure this is uh, clicked on activated save this value and apart from this PVC0 you have to deactivate every other value uh, I am going to do this faster now PVC1 PVC2 we have already deactivated just to make sure I am showing you this again yes it is deactivated PVC3 deactivate that as well same for PVC4567 interface is little slower but uh, this is just a setting that we you need to do for the for single time and you can get over with this okay so everything is deactivated for now if you check this status uh, you will see that pvc0 is now active uh, it is val value set to 135 uh, encapsulation rfc1 for that we need to change this we need we also need to change this value vpi1 uh, it should be 0 actually so let's change that again mm, yeah so this is 0 this is 35 and now you have to configure the BSNL settings that you have received from the uh, BSNL service. You have to uh, give it a service name, something like data1. Uh, it is not necessary to give a service name. Then enter your username and whatever the password you have received from BSNL, you need to set that up. And that's it. Uh, you keep all the settings to normal and save these settings. okay so these settings are saved uh, now again we, we are going to check so this is most important that pvc 0 the vpi should be 0 vci should be 35 everything else should be deactivated and this service this status should show uh, up uh, next is let's go to wireless settings and here you all, all you have to do is select india it is not necessary to uh, select this channel or change this channel but I, I recommend all of you to select change this channel to India it will automatically detect whatever it uh, whatever it, it will auto detect uh, the settings for uh, your location but at least try the channel to India and save it you can configure the SSID here give your, give your uh, secure password for uh, various security standards according to various security standards like WPA2 but it's totally up to you I'm keeping my uh, service to open and save these settings now uh, like we done earlier you need to go to maintenance sys restart and keep the current settings on and restart the modem once you restart the modem uh, your internet services should be uh, activated already uh, you uh, sometimes you don't even need to 
restart the modem or PC but in case uh, you are not getting the services up then you need to restart the PC and modem both uh, just make sure that this PV, in this PVC summary these values of uh, your modem should match that once I show uh, like mine 035 PPPOE and status up the status should always be up and that's it now just to show you if this is working uh, let's as you can see here okay the page is loaded the net is working properly once again okay the internet is working properly so with this settings uh, you are not going to uh, uh, lose the connection frequently or anything uh, I am using this deep setting with uh, many of my wireless devices like the uh, Xbox 2-3 laptops and a computer uh, uh, all these are uh, available and mostly are always active in my home so the settings were perfectly and try not to install all this with the default visa that you receive with your modem so that's it from my side I hope you enjoy the video and get your problem solved if in case you uh, face any issues please post in comments below if you are on youtube or if you are on my website then you can also post comments here i'll get your problem resolved within few days okay thank you